So in this uh, social media era, and, and, and that in which we are constantly showing and portraying our lives as we want the others to uh, perceive our lives, uh, in this era where, where the shadowest features of humanity are being uh, enhanced and celebrated through this sort of double-edged uh, sword-like uh, platforms, mainly like Instagram, Facebook, and, and such. Why, why am I interrupting my own flow? Well, because I'm, I want to surprise you. I want to keep you on the edge of your seat. I want you to be present. Present, present, now, now, now. No, but the thing is, you constantly see in all those platforms uh, like words of admiration for things people have not done. So let's focus on, through my masculine gaze, let's focus on, on women in general, because they are beautiful and they you can find a lot of them uh, monetizing their own bodies and sexuality to just sell everything, which is great. I, I think uh, that whatever helps uh, people live a good life <laughs> and that uh, provided it's legal of course I, I think it's great and if i had great breasts and a great ass i would monetize it too probably so it's like um hats off to everything but if you go on instagram now you're gonna see lots of, of beautiful women uh, sponsoring like uh, yoga pants uh, shakes whatever and it's like and you might feel the compulsion to put it out and then play, but that's perfectly fine, provided your, your private space, please. Uh, uh, don't invite others to, to watch what they might not want to watch. And uh, don't be like Louis C.K.-esque. Uh, it's a minor offense, but it's better not to, to commit it. So the thing is, you go online, you watch all these beautiful bodies, and, and, and there's a, a, a constant shower of praising. So my, my question is, why do we praise or, or congratulate others for things they haven't done? And that's my point. Because to celebrate like someone losing 30 kilos, and not because of chemo, but because of, of, of exercise, healthy eating, etc., that has to be celebrated, man. It's like, hats off to you as well. Yeah, excellent. But uh, what what did this sort of 21-year-old uh, girl did to have that beautiful ass that she's showing me and just uh, with a beautiful picture? Nothing. She was born. She's she slid through the vaginal channel or the anal con conduit. If this is a future where anal birth is happening, but at the moment it's like the sliding fun towards life she was born their fathers had sex and that's it no merit whatsoever yet if you go on facebook you can see in, in friends picture oh how beautiful you look how great everything is beautiful and that's not the point my point is let's stop massaging egos and and the worst side of uh, our personality by making people feel great about stuff they haven't done or they haven't put any effort in achieving if it's like a body transformation i celebrate it. if it's uh, anything that if, if you made a beautiful omelet excellent man great omelet making but not just your 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 whatever it's your, the, your blue eyes what, who the fuck cares man you you didn't do anything to get blue eyes provided those are your natural ones you get my point right Effort equals praise. Like, uh, natural gifts equal nothing. Nothing. Well, you, they might grant a masturbation, fantasies, whatever, but I don't think that the way forward for humanity is to say, oh, what lovely hands, I mean, lovely hands you have, beautiful breasts, whatever. In, in private, it's another matter. So, I probably... I probably stopped making sense now, but um, I'm going to quote another example because it, 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 it will just nail the last 
blow into that thing that will keep the coffin together. Yeah, you know, I blew I blew the same, but it's uh, it makes sense with the last thing I'm gonna say. So for instance, I'm an opera fan, right? So um, let's take Pavarotti. He had a beautiful voice, an amazing, unique voice, but he did learn how to use that voice. So if he were to be resuscitated or I meet him at the gates of heaven, I would not say, oh, what a beautiful voice you had, uh, Luciano. I'm going to say, how well did you manage to use that voice, motherfucker, huh? You get my point. I think I think it's quite clear now. So let's strive to make the better use of what we have, no matter if it's little, medium, big, because all sizes will fit into someone. Yeah, no matter what it is, learn how to make the best out of what you have, because you have something. Even if you think I don't, you have eyes. You're watching me. You have ears. You're hearing me one of those at least I hope or someone is telling you what I'm saying by hearing it or transcribing it into Morse code or whatever but the point is we always have something to be thankful for and if you doubt this uh, memorize this beautiful saying which goes something like call yourself unlucky only if you start m making coffins and people stop dying remember Let's cut the automatism in our everyday lives and make the world a better place for you and for me.